I just got back from GDC and it was a lot of fun. If you didn't go this year, you missed out on the fun, but it doesn't mean that you have to miss out on the info. So in this video, I'm gonna cover all of the most exciting things that I saw for Unity developers at GDC 2024. Before we dive into all the technical stuff, my favorite part about going to GDC is obviously all of the people that I get to see. And that actually started before I even got on the plane. I ran into my old boss or my boss's boss's boss, John Smedley from Sony and Amazon. And now he's doing something else that sounds really cool, but I'm not sure I can talk about it. Anyway, after flying over to San Francisco, I got to the conference hall just in time to see a giant line to get into the Unity talk. Luckily, my buddy Johnny from Turbo Makes Games was there. I got in line with him, and we just barely made it into the packed room, which I'm really excited we did because there were some awesome announcements. First off, there were some really cool things with rendering. They've added new buttons that just make things go faster. Now they've got a GPU resident drawer, which I don't completely understand, but it sounds really awesome and extremely fast. GPU occlusion culling, which I think is pretty apparent to everybody what that probably is. But again, more performance improvements. And the biggest one, the STPP, Spatial Temporal Post Processing, which allows them to render at a very low resolution and then upscale without losing any quality. It sounds amazing, and from what I gathered, you can render down at almost one tenth of the resolution and still get near the same visual fidelity by upscaling using AI. And that wasn't the only AI announcement that I saw that was really exciting. The other one that really impressed me was the AI model retexturing. I think this was called 3D model textures or 3D textures. It looks really cool. They showed a demo where they've got a shield and then they just have a texture regenerated and mapped onto it. Now, another thing that really stood out to me that really, I guess, surprised me, I should say, was a feature that had been announced before, but I hadn't actually seen it in action, and that was the Asset Manager. Now, this thing seemed like something that I wouldn't use because I mostly work as a solo developer, but when I saw the workflow for it and I realized that I can take the art models that I've had made by artists professionally and just put them into a nice place where they're managed, I can preview them and I can just drag them into my projects, seems amazing. It's also really going to be useful for me for different particle packs and other assets that I use often. I don't want to put the entire package up there, but it's going to work, change my workflow quite a bit. After looking at it, I've already started playing with it yesterday and I'm really excited about it. So it's something that I was kind of impressed with that I didn't expect to see. Now, the biggest thing that I saw, now this is going to be the biggest thing for me at least, the most exciting thing is something that I've been waiting for for like, I don't know, 20 years now. And then I randomly just happened to talk to somebody on the floor who showed me their project and it's here. It's the team working on a new game that's reminds me exactly of Command and Conquer Generals. They're building it in Unity with dots. They've got some demos showing the massive scale and some really awesome functionality. And I'm, to be honest, just really excited about it. I was a big Command and Conquer fan. If you liked Command and Conquer or RTSs, drop a comment down below. And if it wasn't Command and Conquer, let me know which one you liked. But this one sounds very similar to Command and Conquer Generals. I've been waiting for somebody to make the successor and it seems like they've got the perfect team for it. I'm going to link that down below too so you can go check it out. There's a couple of posts on Reddit and a little bit of info there. They're very awesome, very excited about it and I, I really, really can't wait to uh, get in there and play it. Now I saw lots of other really awesome games. I got to play lots of really cool games. I got to see some really cool alternate controller projects as well and had a lot of fun. And again, got to talk to and meet a ton of people and see all kinds of really cool tech. There's lots of other stuff that I'll talk about and show off later, but I really wanted to just give a quick overview of my favorite things and especially my favorite things for Unity developers. So go check those out. Go check out the, there's a Unity talk. In fact, there's a full interview that I did with a couple of the asset store publishers who also had some really cool stuff. The new, um, there, there's some new animation AI stuff, some new, uh, terrain systems that are just mind-blowing and some other really cool stuff out there so go check that out i'll link those down in the description and i'll link the full video for the unity six talk so you can go see all of the stuff that they announced too in addition to the things that i was really impressed with there's probably some stuff in there that's super handy and helpful for you as well and of course i'm going to link that game because super excited about that all right that's it for this video um don't forget to thumbs up subscribe let me know if you got any questions or requests for anything or if there's anything about GDC that you're curious about too um, now's the time to ask drop it in a comment and I'll try to answer those right away all right see you later bye I, I just said both of those huh all right